The death of Friends star Matthew Perry on October 28th left a gaping hole in the hearts of many fans. Perry, best known for playing the sardonic Chandler Bing for all 10 seasons of the hit NBC sitcom, amassed millions of followers across his various social media platforms, including Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. In the wake of Perry's untimely death, his last Instagram post has already engendered a particular response among his followers, one that some might classify as haunting. Five days before the actor was found dead due to a possible accidental drowning in a jacuzzi at his Los Angeles residence, per TMZ, Perry posted a picture of himself seated in the corner of that selfsame place, wearing what appeared to be white headphones and looking off into the distance. Perry surrounded by steam emanating from the water in the oddly ethereal photo, accompanied with the post with the following caption, Oh, so warm water swirling around makes you feel good? I'm Matman. Nearly a week before his death hit the media circuit, one fan responded to Perry's post with a simple question. Is everything okay at home, Matman? Following the news of his passing, others responded with outrage. As one commenter put it, We failed. We failed him. All this time he's been asking us for help and we did not get that. In the wake of Matthew Perry's death, it's possible that some fans might view his last Instagram post as a haunting harbinger. But in reality, Perry's life was a complicated one. As he chronicled in his 2022 memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, the actor dealt with decades-long substance use disorder due to drugs and alcohol, in addition to issues with his mental health. Per Perry's own account, he found himself drinking constantly after season two of Friends, almost a decade after trying alcohol for the first time in his mid-adolescence, and started taking Vicodin after he was prescribed opioids for pain management following a 1997 jet ski accident in Las Vegas. According to the actor, his addiction worsened to the point that he took up to 55 pills a day. He ultimately checked into rehab 15 times and underwent detox 65 times during his lifetime. Perry said in a 2022 interview with People magazine, By the time I was 34, I was really entrenched in a lot of trouble. But there were bright spots too. He claimed that he was sober for the entire season 9 of Friends and was an avid supporter of others who wanted to get and remain sober. Matthew Perry's honesty about his past was a touchstone for his fans. For evidence, look no further than his last Instagram post. As one follower wrote, quote, None can even imagine the pain and pangs he was caged in, but still refused to give up. In 2013, during a period of sobriety, Perry opened up a clinic in Malibu for others who sought the same, but the facility was not able to stay afloat financially. At one point in time, Perry was also an advocate for specialist drug courts, defined as, quote, a special court given responsibility to handle cases involving substance-abusing offenders to comprehensive supervision, drug testing, treatment services, and immediate sanctions and incentives. Essentially, it seems that Perry wanted to get rid of the stigmatization attached to substance use disorder mental health, and the twinning act of self-medication when other resources aren't accessible. By all appearances, Perry was keen on putting out there right up until the end of his life. It could be said that this was exemplified by one of his last Twitter posts. Let's make stigmas a stigma. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, please call the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Administration's 24-hour national helpline at 1-800-662-HELP. That's 1-800-662-4357.